Hey, Tim Destasio here, and I'm going to be talking about the True Flow Grid today. This is an introduction to how it works. I've got my kit. I'm going to show you what comes in the box here pretty soon. Then we're going to go up in my attic, and we're going to show you how it works on my system. All right, let's talk about what's in the bag or what's in the box. All of this comes with it. But, of course, you got your carrying cases, your pouches, your bags, things to keep everything protected and dry. And they're really good quality. But then you've got various adapter plates that are going to fit into the different filter grills and media filter boxes that you may encounter in the field. You've even got a custom cut one. So if you've got a weird size that doesn't come in the kit, you can custom cut it to fit. Of course, this is one of the stars of the show here. This is the True Flow Grid itself. It's going to fit in any one of these adapter plates. And then we've got the awesome DG8 micro manometer. It's Bluetooth. It talks to their app. It talks to Measure Quick. And to round it out, here are some of the other accessories that goes with that custom cut um, adapter plate. But this is what you get. And it is a great value. And I'm going to tell you, this is how you're going to be able to start solving some real comfort issues for your customers. All right, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to measure the airflow on any HVAC system. Here we are in my attic. Here is my Bosch heat pump. I've got my Santa Fe ventilating dehumidifier up here. I've actually unplugged it because I don't want the dehumidifier to be in the equation for this test. I've got my 20 by 25 adapter plate that is ready to go here uh, because I got a 20 by 25 media filter. I've got an April air filter box behind me there. So that adapter plate is going to fit very well. And finally, we want to drill some test ports in order to take some static pressure reading. So you're going to need one in your supply plenum. You will also need one in your return plenum before the filter and then another one after. The so just get a little step bit like this and uh, it really works wonders and obviously you want to have some plugs on hand so that you can plug those test ports afterwards so uh, let's get started with the app I'm gonna walk you through that next okay you're gonna open up your true flow app and you've got a few choices here I personally like that first one system airflow and static pressure because it's gonna allow us to do some static pressure mapping which we'll talk a little bit more about later so here we go we now have to find our true flow grid and our DG8. If we've got a DG8 turned on as well as our true flow, it's going to automatically detect those and find them. The next thing we're going to do is select what kind of air handler we have. If it's a furnace or like a fan coil air handler, obviously I've got a heat pump, so we're going to select air handler. And then the configuration. I've got a horizontal, so here we go. Okay, it's going to ask us for the cooling capacity. Now, this is a Bosch unit. It is a three-ton condensing unit, but I've got it dip-switched, setting down to uh, two tons. So that's what we're going to put here. And our air filter location. Now, I don't have filters in the grill. I do have them in a filter slot in the duct or cabinet. So I've got a media filter that is really close to my air handler. Uh, and I do not have multiple filter grills. But for your situation, there is a selection that works good for you. For this one, we're going to select the middle one. And finally, we're going to set what our target airflow is. Now, I am in a southern humid environment, so I am always going to select that 350 CFMs per ton. All right, the very next thing we're going to do is measure our return duct static pressure. So if you notice, this is before the air filter. So I've got to turn my unit on so that it runs as it normally would in second stage. My unit cycles between first and second stage on a hot day, but I do want to see what my second stage airflow is. So I'm going to go over to my Ecobee app and I'm going to set my cooling for second stage. All right, I've got my green hose hooked up to the positive port of my DG8, and I've got my static pressure probe that comes in the kit. It's got a little magnetic base on here. And we're going to put this static pressure probe, again, this is not a pitot tube. A pitot tube would have a tube within a tube and a hole here on the tip. Uh, but we're going to place this in the return plenum before the air filter. Now, I don't have a great spot because of space constraints to put it in a nice linear piece of duct work, and that is just reality. Uh, you guys will, will rarely have that also in the field unless you're down there in basement country or up there in basement country. So we're going to put this static pressure tip right here where the tip 
points sort of in the linear direction of, of airflow. And we're going to take that reading, which is point 0.1. Now, we do need to record that in the app because it needs to save that reading. Okay, so once our reading looks pretty stable, which it is, we're going to take that measurement. It's going to record it. And then the next thing we're going to do is take another static pressure reading, but this time after the air filter. All right, so I've got another test port here after the air filter, but before the air handler. Same thing there. We're going to stick the probe in, put it nice and straight. We're reading. We'll go to the app and record that reading. All right, so this is our after filter reading. We're going to take that measurement. It's going to take just a few seconds to record that. And finally, we are gonna take our supply duct static pressure. All right, so here's our supply probe in the supply plenum. We're getting a reading. Let's go ahead and record it in the app. Back in the app, and we're gonna take that measurement. All right, very good. We've got all our measurements. We're gonna hit continue. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is pull out our air filter and insert our true flow grid and the correct adapter plate. All right, the filter is out. Let's go ahead and slide this plate in. The plate is going to tell you which direction needs to face the airflow. All right, so that's what the plate looks like when it's in. The little rubber gaskets make a nice seal. Make sure we're not bypassing any air around it. Of course, we're going to put our door back on. Let's return to the app. Now with our true flow grid in place, we're going to take that measurement. We hit continue. It's going to tell us to return the system to normal operation, so we're going to pull the true flow grid out. We're going to put our air filter back in and hit OK. We can save this test any way we want. And here are our results. So, for one thing, no problems detected here. It is reading 640 CFMs, and that works out to about 320 CFMs per ton, which is really on the bottom edge of being okay, but I'm in a super humid environment, and this is all the airflow that my system needs to keep me comfortable. But if you are on a service call and you are on a comfort call, 320 CFM per ton may not be enough, and then you would look to increasing your airflow either by increasing your blower speed or if you had a static pressure problem, you'd be trying to correct that. But we don't have a static pressure problem here. If you notice, I'm running about a 0.218 static pressure. That is really, really low. My indoor blower motor is not consuming a lot of wattage to have to move the airflow that I need. I'm still right there at the bottom edge of being green. But these readings are invaluable. Let's say that we had a really high return static pressure. It would tell us that. So we would know where to look for the duct restriction. And we wouldn't waste time trying to find it on the supply side because it would be on the return side. So again, just invaluable information. Let's hit this continue button down here at the bottom corner. And we can create a report here. We can enter in our customer name. We can put in the address. Put in our company information of course you can put that as a preset so you don't have to do it every time you can add your equipment and this app will create a custom airflow report that you can include in your reporting your diagnostics so that it gives your customer a lot more confidence that it's just not your subjective opinion you have an airflow problem no you've got instrumentation that'll prove it and there you have it it is that easy you can get a precise airflow reading on any system you work on with the true flow grid. So I really encourage everybody to think just how better of a technician, how better of a contractor, a diagnostician, an HVAC practitioner that you would be if you could definitively be able to read airflow on every system that you worked on, including every system that you install. How much more confidence would you have in your diagnostics as well as your commissioning? There's a lot more that the Energy Conservatory's True Flow Grid can do. It can work with MeasureQuick. You can do a lot of other workflows for ACCA 310, for Energy Star. We're going to get into that in future videos. And that's why I encourage you to go on energyconservatory.com, get the True Flow Grid, get the DG8, get some of the other blower doors and duct blasters and other equipment, and start really solving problems using high performance HVAC diagnostic skills and home performance building science. This is the way that we change the industry. This 
is the way that you improve your business. For now, thanks for watching, and as always, work safe.